here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. I heard that ice cream truck coming through my neighborhood yesterday for the kiddos today. It's going to be one of those days where the ice cream's going to melt in seconds. The high temperature today up to around 92 degrees, all happening under mostly sunny skies. Our three key things, it's another scorcher. We are tracking a cold front that'll be gradually moving through our area late Wednesday and Wednesday night. And behind it, we do get a little relief, the return of more comfortable air especially by the weekend. Today, though, you're going to be dealing with that heat advisory in effect today and for tomorrow. Check out the heat index that we're expecting. This is when you combine the temperatures and the humidity. It gives you what it feels like outside. 90s by 10 a.m. in the morning, 92 Providence, 90 the heat index in New Bedford and in Smithfield. And by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, we'll get close to 100 degrees for the heat index in many inland areas. And even the coastline, the heat index in the lower 90s as the winds increase in the later afternoon and evening. It'll be feeling like it's in the 80s at the shore, but still in the lower to mid 90s inland. And then we're looking at the heat index in the 80s still at five o'clock in the evening. So East Providence outside right now we do have mainly clear sky 74 degrees. The temperature winds light from the south. The forecast the temperatures across the rest of the area right now 76 in Taunton 72 in Smithfield about 73 in Westerly and Boston at 74 degrees. It's humid today, but some relief coming. You can see those dew points dropping down a few categories here for Thursday into Friday and then even lower as we head into Saturday and Sunday. So keep that in mind. Here's the afternoon forecast, though. Our temperatures lower to middle 80s at the coastline, about 86 in westerly Newport, low to mid 80s. Hope Valley today, 92 degrees, lower 90s in Burrowville, East Providence in the low 90s. And we may have some spots like Johnston, uh, Cranston, North Providence that hit the middle 90s, West Greenwich, upper 80s to around 90 degrees, and New Bedford close to 90. Similar Fall River, Seekonk and Attleboro, Taunton, all above 90 degrees for the second day this week. Beach forecast, middle 80s there. It's looking pretty good to get down to the beach again today. Mostly sunny skies. We just have to get through a little bit of low cloud cover and fog early this morning. On the bay, southwest winds turning to the south at 10 to 15 knots. Waves 1 to 2 feet. We are approaching low tide for 7 o'clock this morning and high tide just before 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Tonight stays warm and humid as those temperatures drop into the lower and middle 70s with low clouds and fog. So here's our relief. It's this cold front that's back across the middle of the nation right now. By tonight, it's pushing into New York and Pennsylvania. And as it gets closer to us, so you can see it brings some extra clouds for tomorrow and a couple of showers around during the day. It's not a washout necessarily, but a shower and a rumble of under possible Wednesday during the afternoon and evening hours. And now it's looking like this front may be pushing at least to the shoreline or even offshore by Thursday. That could keep most of the rainfall away on Thursday and also bring down the humidity level. So I have us under a mix of clouds and sun, mostly dry weather for Thursday and Friday. And the temperatures after today, they're trending at least in the right direction. Still hot Wednesday and on Thursday, then in the lower 80s for the weekend.